Okay, so I thought I'd make a video on how to install the connector or the terminal into the JX200 uh, splice pack. This is the splice pack. This is the connector that's uh, on the 14s is behind the, it's kind of behind the glove compartment. It's pointing down like this. This gray connector is going to be where you get our power and ground for the shifter harness. And then for the HUD harness, you're going to get the data from here. So this is called the, uh, the JX200 or the splice pack. It's basically a connector that ends with all the data lines in it and they're all connected together. They're all connected by this white piece, which is uh, called the comb. There's two tabs. Actually, if you want to get this off, let's get this off the bracket first. You just bend this bracket down and slide it. You'll probably slide it down toward you uh, in the car. Uh, we got two tabs on the back. Just get your pick under there and work it out. Try not to break them. Work it out. And that will allow you to take out the comb. And that will leave all the connectors, all the terminals in there exposed. There's a secondary lock on this, which is the gray connector back here. This is a little tough. You just kind of have to force it out the best you can. Get under there and kind of work it out. And then see if you can pop it out like that. It's a little tougher than that. This one's been taken apart before, so it, yours will probably be a little tougher than that. And then you will take your terminal from the um, from this will be from the the HUD harness, and it gets inserted. It's got a little locating tab that gets inserted to the top. And you can just go into any any open hole there, doesn't matter, and just slide in and click it. I'm not going to put it in there because I don't want to get it out. And then once your terminal's in there, go back and put your comb back in. Pop that in. Only goes in one way. And then put your secondary lock back on. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to show you is when inserting the BCM wires, here's a BCM connector. Here's this white part on the top. That's also a, called a secondary terminal lock. There's a little divot in here where you can get a pick in there. Shove it in and pick it up, and you'll see it comes up about oh, not even a, a sixteenth of an inch. But that is enough for you to then insert the terminal at the back and get it in there easily. Then once it's there, snap it down and it goes back flush, if you can see that. So that's basically unlocked and locked. And I think that's it.